Hogwash. Oh my I gosh. I told you. I told oh you. my gosh. Get can out of here. One, get out of can here. I, can I, I get a real I one? I quit the <laughs> midweek moment. Hey everyone, and welcome to the midweek moment. We are so excited to come to your homes or wherever you're watching. Today, I have two really special guests with us on this episode. Uh, many of you know. Perhaps Pastor Joanne, she is our executive pastor of ministry. Uh, you can wave from your screen. She'll see you. Just kidding. Um, but uh, you have not met her better half, or let me just say her other half, uh, Eric Johnson over here. Um, Eric and I, we share an affinity for great coffee. Uh, some of us drink coffee for fun. Some of us drink coffee for function. We drink coffee for both. So I really like this Amen. guy a lot. Um, but what's cool about Eric, if you did not know, is that um, Joanne is our executive pastor of ministry, but uh, Eric grew up on the mission field, um, Latin America, speaks phenomenal Spanish, and uh, you also work in... Finance, financial services. How... Mi español es muy, uh, no es muy bueno. Yeah. Necesito pra practicar más. There you go. And mm -hmm. if you did not understand that, there'll be subtitles on screen. But Eric works in finance, and I thought what a great opportunity for the both of them to come on this episode. Uh, we are going to dive deeper into last weekend's message where we were in Habakkuk chapter 2, and we learned about waiting. Now, no one really likes to wait, but God uses waiting or, or times of waiting in our lives to really grow us and accomplish a specific purpose in us to grow our faith. So I thought these two would be um, incredible in just bringing their wealth of wisdom and experience in helping us understand uh, the journey of waiting. But we're gonna talk about waiting in a fun way uh, on this episode. And we're gonna play a game. And this game is called the Whisper Challenge. So how this game works is one person is gonna put on a set of headphones. And in this case, we'll say ladies go first. So Pastor Joanne is gonna put on some headphones and we have some incredible dance music playing in those headphones right now. As you can see, she cannot hear me, but she is, she is dancing. She's getting jiggy with it. And the other person is going to read a phrase on a card, which the other person does not know of. And the person wearing the headphones has to read their lips and guess what that word is. So with that said, take it away. Round one, Eric Johnson. Are you ready? Are you ready? Australia? <laughs> okay. I guess she's ready. She's ready. <laughs> Olive juice. Uh, no. Osteobypath. Osteobypath, that's it. Olive juice. <laughs> One more. You can't skip. Can she skip? No, sorry, no, you can't okay. skip. Okay, let's try it again. I can't hear the word they're singing in my ear. You're, you're supposed to read my lips. Read my lips. Read my lips. Okay. Olive juice. Olive juice. Apple yes. juice. Ding, 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 well ding, done. Ding, 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 ding. You, you got Very it. Very well done. You got it. Very well done. It was olive juice. Okay. All right, there you go. What a fun game. All right, Pastor Joanne, it is your turn. Eric, you are on the hot seat. By the way, it's Veggie Tales playing in their headphones. Veggie it's, Tales. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. C P C. He's busy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> That didn't help at all. <laughs> One more time. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yes! Boom. Ding, 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 ding. Boom. Okay, we got it. So that's how the game is going to work, folks. But let's um, ask them a question about waiting. So typically when we talk about waiting in the Bible, um, we usually use a, a, a very Christian word. Um, we use the word season. Seasons of waiting, and I know that's just cringe-worthy right there, but just bear with me. Um, why is that word season, as cringy as it is, why is it so important to remember when we're in seasons of waiting? Well, I think when we use the word season, all we're trying to say is we're going through a really bad time right now, and we hope that it ends, right? <laughs> like, we're in a season. Yes, COVID has been a season, and we want it to be over with, right? Instead of saying it's just, this is going through a really, really awful time, right? Agreed. Who likes waiting? 
No one likes waiting. No one likes yeah. waiting. Yeah. But seasons do change, and so mm. th that is the hope, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's so true. Seasons do change. I know San Diegans, we don't really understand seasons. <laughs> yeah. It's like one, one season. season. You know, it's 75 the Seattle all year. Sorry. Yeah, but people who live in other parts of the world, they understand that seasons come and go. And I think that's so critical. Seasons don't last forever. And God works in seasons. Yeah. Um, I just think of some of um, the Bible characters that we look up to. You know, yeah. they, they all went through seasons of waiting, including yeah. Jesus. I mean, you think of why he spent the first 30 years of his life essentially not doing any ministry. Right. It was kind of a season of preparation and building faith. So yeah. I thought that was so, so spot on for you guys. Let's do another round of okay. uh, the Whisper Challenge. All right, Pastor John, you are going first. Cue the music. Music's on. I'm good, yeah, I'm good. She's good. Are you ready? Habakkuk. I, I got. <laughs> Habakkuk. A manatee? That's what they're singing. <laughs> That's all I hear is a manatee. The manatee. She's talking really okay. loud right now. Habakkuk. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Habakkuk. Apricot? Close. Habakkuk. I know. Albondigas. <laughs> Albondigas. No, it is not That's Albondigas. That's a Spanish soup. That would be meatball yeah. soup. Yeah. Close. Habakkuk. I don't. Habakkuk. Abundant. <laughs> Habakkuk. I guess she can't hear this. They keep talking about manatees. I have no idea. All I see is manatee. <laughs> oh, thanks. That was a fat joke. You guys saw, saw it here first. Okay, okay. <laughs> Habakkuk. Habakkuk. I'm at a loss here. Um, Habakkuk. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, let's call I, I let's call that round. Take it off. Let's, yep, let's call that round. What was it? Habakkuk. <laughs> Close to Africa. Fail. All right. Let's get him back, okay. Joanne. All right. Okay. You're in the hot seat. I forgot what I was doing here. Yeah. Okay. Meshach. 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 Yes! Ding, 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 there we go. He's so much better than I am. I knew that you're, coming into this. You're probably a better enunciator. No. no. I'm okay. just really okay. bad at reading lips. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Um, great job, you guys. But I gotta be good at something. <laughs> right? We all do. Uh, so another question on waiting. Uh, Habakkuk, by the way, is where we are. Um, in this past weekend's message, but uh, just a simple question. Maybe not so simple, but uh, why is waiting so hard? Why is waiting so hard? Wow, um, I think we learn to hate waiting from infancy, right? Waiting for food, waiting for candy, waiting for playtime, waiting for recess. But I don't know about you, but my dad taught me early on that anything in life worth having uh, is worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. So it's a necessary evil. It's a necessary thing in life that helps prune and cultivate mm -hmm. and make us into a better person, but it doesn't make it any easier, at least from my perspective. Yeah, well, that's a helpful reminder. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then thinking about our culture, like the microwave and Instagram, like everything's about instant, right? That we've almost eliminated the practice of waiting and patience and like, I'm mad if I got to wait 10 minutes at Starbucks for my coffee. It's like... How badly does everyone want to know who won the election? I know. Right? It's like, I mean, why don't we know? perfect example. There you go. But, um, yeah, so I think, you know, back when all of that was created, it was meant to, like, microwaves and microwave dinners were supposed to make life easier so that we would have more time with family. And instead, it's, like, made life quicker, like, that we want things faster and more and more and more instead of just being able to be patient mm. and wait and have, um, and be able to enjoy, you know, what you have. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's so true. Uh, just the examples that you, you gave, I think as technology progresses, I mean, I don't know if you guys have an Instapot, but we got an Instapot. I, that's was, like, I was, I went to the coffee reference. I immediately thought Nescafe versus coffee, a pour over, right? you know, I mean, it's, you don't, you can't compare. Right. But you know, it's just, we want things now and we want things fast and it just kind of, goes against God's way of doing things. It's funny you say um, we're hurrying all the time. And I feel like there is such a connection between hurry and our ability to be patient mm. and wait. It's like the faster life is and the more in a hurry we are, the faster we drive and you know all of that stuff, 
um, the more impatient we are at a coffee store line, it's like we become less and less patient. And I just wonder like if even just the way our world is wired right now and the environments we find ourselves in, it's just, it keeps telling us don't wait. And that kind of translates into even our faith mm -hmm. with God. You know? I honestly so. believe the blessing in disguise in COVID-19 and, and what's been going on with the pandemic, we're forced to wait. Yeah. You have no options. Yeah. So everyone I feel is at least we are reevaluating re the things that are important, the things that we should be committing our time to because yeah, patience is key. Patience is key. Yeah, like prior to COVID, every single night of our week, we were doing something. We were playing, we were taking our kids to sports. We were scouts, do, scouts like every single night we were doing something. And now it's like, we treasure our evenings to get, well, for the most part, we've got two young boys, but <laughs> yeah. well, we enjoy like the slower pace and just being able to enjoy it, enjoy what mm -hmm. God has blessed us with our family, our home, food on the table. You know, it's, we've been able to enjoy it because we are not going all over the place, just mm -hmm. able to sit in it. You know? Yeah, that's cool. Like looking for the blessings, even yeah. in the season mm -hmm. of waiting, because right. that's where we find joy. Right. So, All right, let's do one more round right. of the, the whisper challenge. You can go first, <gasps> Pastor Joanne. Can we not do the manatee song anymore? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know why I didn't okay. think of this sooner, but it's, okay. this is what it is, if you can see. Is it manatee? No. It is not manatee, it is Oh, I can't. I can kind of hear you. Can you can still hear me? Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, it is speak mm. louder. DP Docker? DP Docker. <laughs> speak louder. Be a grower. <laughs> <laughs> How many consonants was that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Speak louder. Be a downer. Speak louder. Speak louder. Speak louder. Yes. yes. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Very yeah, well there you done. go. The key was you speaking louder. Yes. Yeah. That, that was it. That was it. Raise my voice. Yeah, there you go. Did you hear me above the music? Is that what no. you just did? No. <laughs> no cheating allowed. I did not. It was loud. Okay, ready? Hogwash. Hogwash. Oh my I gosh. I told you. I told oh you. my gosh. Get can out I get of a here. Real one, please? Get out can of I, here. Can I, I get a real I one? quit the midweek <laughs> moment. Just kidding. Great job, Eric. Great job, Eric. Uh, last question. Can you share maybe a time in your life where uh, you were made to wait? And now looking back, you can you know, say with integrity, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that for whatever God had in mind that season, I'm just so thankful. Yeah. Well, I'm not thankful for the waiting, but yeah. I am thankful yeah. for the lessons <laughs> learned. For the lessons yeah. learned. Yeah. Yeah. About seven years ago, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and mm -hmm. um, I was all like, I was all scheduled to get the treatment and like, you know, I wanted to get the surgery done and just be able to move on. And I found out just a month before I was scheduled for surgery that we were pregnant. I was pregnant um, and we were expecting our second son. I looked like I was yeah. pregnant. <laughs> you guys. And I, they told me that I could either abort the pregnancy and continue with the treatment as scheduled, or I could wait and delay treatment for after the birth of the baby. Wow. And so we had to pray and we had to make a decision, um, knowing that if we waited for surgery, that the tumor could get bigger, I could have more complications, like losing feeling on my right side. I had had hearing loss, facial numbness. I had started having some vertigo. And we felt like God, we believed that God was calling us to wait. We didn't want to abandon the life that God had given to us. Mm -hmm. And so we waited and uh, we were able to have the baby. And two weeks after the baby was born, um, I went in for surgery. And um, it's been amazing to watch how, because what I wanted was I wanted God to heal me right then. I think we both wanted, like we wanted that miracle. Like every time I went in for an MRI, I was like, God, please, like, let it just be gone. Like, I want that miracle where it's just going to be gone and I can just move on with my life. And that's not how God did the miracle. It's been little victories all the way up until even just this last Sunday. It was the first time since this all started that I was able to worship God and pray standing with my eyes closed. Because where the tumor is, you have balance issues and I could mm -hmm. no longer pray and stand with my eyes closed. And this Sunday was the first time I was able to do that. And God's just little by little has healed me and brought healing over a long period of time. And it made me realize that the miracle doesn't have to be instant for it to be God. 
And um, we just learned so much by walking through that together. Wow, that's awesome. I did not know that story. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. yeah. Eric, was there anything you wanted to add? How to do that? I follow that up? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say the transition to San Diego and the decision that was leaving, mm -hmm. leaving my office in West Covina and coming here. It's kind of, you know, that's kind of unheard of in financial services established business there. But God totally provided, and, mm -hmm. and the team that welcomed me here in the San Diego office, it couldn't be a better fit, and it's obviously all God. So wait on God. He will absolutely come through every mm -hmm. single time. I could go on and stories my whole life, but I'm sure you could too. So. Yeah. No, thank you so much for sharing uh, just your wisdom and uh, experience and waiting. What a gift you guys are. Did you hear that? What he called yeah. it? Wisdom. <clears throat> wisdom. There you go. Uh, the grays mean something, you know. Uh, but, you know, you guys truly are such a gift to our church family. And I'm sure. Sure are you, man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And I'm sure, you know, those of our viewers who are watching and listening will be so blessed by you guys. So to end this segment, would you guys just maybe pray for whoever's watching or listening, and maybe they're going through a season of waiting and they don't know what God is doing and why he's not doing anything. Would you just say a prayer of blessing and courage on our viewers? Yeah. God, we just thank you for um, how you teach us things in waiting and how you work in us when we wait. And I pray for the lessons that we learn in that waiting, that you would allow it to grow us closer to you and closer to the ones we love and care about. And it would deepen our faith, Lord, as we trust you with the unexpected, as we trust you with the patience and the waiting as we give it to you, Lord. I thank you for the lessons that you've taught Eric and I and how we have grown together through those difficult times, Lord. We've grown deeper and closer together. Uh, we thank you for how you have provided both healing for me, provided, you know, all of that Eric has gone through in the last couple of months of transitioning and how you have made it greater, Lord, in his patience and waiting for your hand. We thank you. We pray for all of those out there that are waiting on God. Maybe they're waiting for a son or a daughter or a family member to get to know you. Don't let them give up praying for that miracle, Lord. Lord, I ask you that you would help us with our persistent prayers and our persistent connection with you and uh, give us a great week and let us honor you in spite of what's happening around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks for tuning in for this episode of the Midweek Moment. We can't wait to come into your homes next week uh, for some hope and encouragement. God bless you.